Sure looks like a painful way to die. This cone snail injects its prey with toxic venom before swallowing it whole. Ouch. Deadly venom is found in all sorts of creatures. Scorpions, cobras, and black widow spiders all pack enough of the toxins to kill a human. But these same toxins are now being used to help alleviate chronic pain. The University of Utah is studying cone snail toxins and testing how it could be used in the fight against multiple sclerosis and Alzheimer's. Of course you always hope that, uh, that what you discover will eventually uh, be useful and uh, help alleviate uh, human suffering. Researchers are also putting the cone snail's venom to therapeutic use. They've isolated a component within the poison and synthesized its molecular structure. The result is an experimental drug called SNX-111. SNX-111 uh, blocks the electrical activity uh, in uh, nerve cells, and it specifically blocks the electrical activity in nerve cells that uh, conduct the pain stimulus uh, from a painful area up into the spinal cord to the brain uh, where we actually feel the pain. So by blocking the electrical activity in these nerve cells, it blocks uh, the pain uh, sensation. In experimental tests with cancer patients and other victims of severe pain, SNX-111 alleviated the suffering without the debilitating side effects of morphine and other painkillers. I do think that SNX-111 is perhaps one of the first really selective medications that we understand works at a very specific site to produce a very selective effect. Scientists are also analyzing venom components from other creatures, such as scorpions and spiders. If the research bears fruit, they will try to create other drugs and perhaps other cures. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.